This is Nick Douglas for Adventures of a Sailor Girl in New York with Steve Colgate. Steve, how are you today? I'm doing just fine, thank you. Oh, that's excellent. Now, I've just met you, and I think that you've had a, a few years of sailing under your belt, sir. I started when I was about nine. Wow. I'm almost 81. I'll be 81 in June. <laughs> Can so. I ask if you're still sailing? I'm doing a little bit of cruising, you know, yes. enjoying, you know, the BVI and oh, wow. on a big catamaran or something like that, you know. That's what a beautiful part of the world. <laughs> not uh, racing really anymore, you know. But yeah, I think um, sometimes you've, you've got to move on, but it doesn't leave your blood sailing, does it? I love it. I just love it. What know. was it that made you fall in love with sailing? Um, I guess it was, uh, I, I went on a transatlantic race from Cuba to Spain when I was 19. Wow. And that just got me really going into, into sailing. And from then on, it was, I was hooked. You've and had a, a bit of a career in sailing too. Yes, uh-huh. <laughs> Can't say. <laughs> and offshore sailing turned out to be your passion? I've done about uh, six transatlantic races. I've done the 79 Fastnet race. We had our own boat, uh, a boat called Sleuth. And uh, we won our class in the 79 Fastnet race when 15 people died. And uh, it's just been, ocean racing has just been, I, I love, I did love getting out. Now I don't think I would do it much now, but it was wonderful. And uh, it just got me into it. I, I, uh, when I got to Spain, uh, I was uh, able to go up to, the, uh, uh, to Isla White. Uh, on the same boat, and we were the first boat ever to do it under four days. So that was that was breaking the record then. Then 30 years later, I was uh, the uh, sailing master on uh, Nirvana, an 81-foot maxi, and we broke the record again wow. in 1955. So from 19, you know. Yeah, just a few decades. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Does it all blur into one been, now? Yeah, just about. <laughs> we've, we've been in this business 51 years of mm -hmm. teaching sailing. Mm -hmm. That was the only way I could really keep into it, you know, yeah. keep sailing. And uh, my wife married the business, she says. <laughs> <laughs> so she it's, took our course. Yeah. She learned to sail with us. That's so good. They're very rare to find women that just stick with you, <laughs> especially as a sailor. Well, this one's from 1969, so I guess this is 47 years. Oh, is that all? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. Now the, the offshore sailing school, you've got the jacket on here, he's, uh, he, I mean it's a lot cold of us... It's up here in It New is York. cold, isn't yeah. it? What the? Yeah. <laughs> I find it get freezing. I'm from Florida. You oh, know? Wow. Yeah. Now. Now, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but but the offshore sailing school is your baby and as you said, it's when you've got sailing as a passion, you have to somehow find a way when you're a diehard, like we are, to be involved with it on a professional level as well. Is that what it was all about for you? Yes, pretty much. I, I went to a cocktail party and this fellow at the cocktail party said, have you ever thought of starting a sailing school since you have the experience and you've got, you know, I had the education and so yeah. on. And I said, no, but he said, well, let's think of it. I have a, I have a cruising sailboat and mm -hmm. let's start a school. So we started offshore sailing school and he came the next year and he said, well, right, my wife and I are getting a divorce <laughs> and uh, I'll sell you my part of this school if you buy her out. Oh, you know? wow. So, excuse me. No, 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 you do what you need to do. But, I mean, offshore sailing, it's not something that you often see in terms of school. I mean, you, you often see the dinghy focus and then the Olympic pathway, but there's so many other things that you can do yeah. with sailing. Well, that's true. I then came back and I, uh, I got involved in 5.5 meters yes. sail, sailboats, mainly because a friend of mine was getting <laughs> off the uh, national champion's boat for a in the middle of a regatta and told him that oh, he'll get a good sailor. Yeah. And he called me up and I said, I've never sailed a 5.5 .5 meter. And he said, well, sailing is sailing, you know. Yeah. Don't, we're going to go out and practice on Wednesday. And, um, and I, it started me on 5.5 .5 meters and uh, I was crewing. And that ended me up in the Olympics and the Pan American Games. And really went from there, you know. It's amazing. It's just Nike. Nike has a great motto of just do it, yeah. you know. And well, I just did it, you know. So. I know I've, I've often said to kids when they're trying to get into the sport that just saying yes sometimes is one of the biggest things you can do. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And we've got this beautiful Endeavour just behind us. Well, the part of the Endeavour program here, one of these Hobie cats with a, a taxi cab sail. Yes, that should be great fun for the kids. <laughs> and we got, we're doing like 50 kids tomorrow. Wow. Uh, uh, in our program, That's awesome. uh, from three to three to five, I think it is. Wow. So with all the Colgate 26s, the yep. boat I designed for tra training purposes and the 
uh, Naval Academy, U.S. Naval Academy has, uh, I think, 42 of them now. And oh, U.S. Coast Guard Academy has 10 or 12. And so it's been a great training boat. And so as we've gone from there. That's you know. absolutely amazing. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough time to talk to you about all the things that I want to talk to you about. It sounds like there's way too many adventures under your belt. But uh, Steve Colgate, as you've heard, designer of the Colgate, offshore sailing school, Olympian, many transatlantic crossings, lover of ocean racing. Thank you. <laughs> no worries. Lover Thanks for sailing. talking with me. Yeah, <laughs> fellow you. lovers of sailing. I think that's, that's the key. But are you looking forward to the event here in New York? Oh, it's going to be a wonderful event, yes. I, <laughs> to, I saw these boats uh, in Newport, Rhode Island uh, yeah. a couple of years ago, a uh, number of years ago, and uh, it was exciting then. And this is going to be even more exciting. It's going to be terrific. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Steve. Thank you. Thank you. No Thank worries. You